The marathon is over for both of these teams, and now it is a sprint to Russia. Well, they're actually already here. Krasnodar Stadium preparing for the 2018 World Cup. Argentina and Nigeria. Nigeria, its third straight World Cup finals appearance in Argentina. Almost missed, but they will be in El Messi in tow. Argentina, Nigeria coming your way. Looking inside the dressing room of this new stadium built for a World Cup in Argentina. Well, are they built for a World Cup run? Argentina and Nigeria just moments away from kickoff at the Krasnodar Stadium. A bit chilly under mostly clear skies, but the sailing mostly smooth after a bumpy run, especially for Argentina. On the other side, this Nigeria squad winning the only side to repeat among the five from World Cup to World Cup. And they'll be looking to do a bit better in Russia than they did in Brazil in 2014. There are plenty of people in tow getting set for this one. And fans of both sides just a bit excited. So much has been made over the past few days about teams that have fallen short. But now it's down to the 32. And we will know the final three teams by the end of tomorrow. Today, Argentina and Nigeria, a bit of preparation to say the least. Phil Shane alongside Ray Hudson. And uh, for Argentina, this was a day that almost didn't happen. But now the World Cup ticket punched, a chance to catch their breath and get ready for the sprint. Yeah, this is the second game that the Albi Celestis played in the host country of Russia, and they take on a team that has been flipping magic, Phil. The Super Eagles of Nigeria have been pretty much indomitable in their run to the World Cup. Ah, tremendous fans. They'll be doing that Nigerian dance that I love so much. This is a good, good side. But they also will be mixing in some of the young players. Same with Sam Pauli. Some interesting players coming in to George's team, but of course, no number 10. We've seen it before without Messi, they're a pale shadow of what they usually are. But it's a great opportunity here for Paulo Dybala in particular. Messi may not be at the big dance, but there's some wonderful tango men out there wearing that beautiful blue and white strip. Di Maria, of course, will bring his class along with Eva Benega. So the Nigerian fans know that the Super Eagles are going to be facing a watered-down Argentina team. Only watered-down because it's got still star-studded footballers of world-class proportions. Sergio Aguero has been lighting it up for his Manchester City. For the ex-independiente man will get another chance to feast on the Super Eagles. It won't be easy. Talking about Aguero. A player that many had already cast on the trash heap looking to move beyond, but has not only claimed Manchester City records, but has also reclaimed his legacy. And he's not done writing it yet. And looking at some of the young fans who are having memories that will last a lifetime. And as well for the ones that are escorting these two World Cup teams out onto the field of play. And we'll see the World Cup ball. Beautiful colored ball, this one from Adidas. The really, star. Yeah, the, it brings back the old Germany games, wasn't it? And it was introduced, the Telstar. And I think it's a beautiful design. And these players will be parading it round. Also, modern technology. You talk about that tip of the cap to the past. The ball for the World Cup actually has a computer chip inside of it. Ah, oh, no. Modern technology, Ray. I like the fancy schmancy balls now.
And everyone to their feet for the national anthems of Nigeria and Argentina. Welcome to Russia and Jorge Sampaoli. You see that little exhalation. There was a question whether he would even have a job at this point if Argentina had stumbled down the stretch, but they didn't. And what that does is open this match, Ray, with a chance to look at some players that might be on the bubble and some ready to pop in themselves. Giovanni Lo Celso is in, and he has been playing some really fine football back in Argentina with Rosario Central. He's on loan from Paris Saint-Germain, a 21-year-old. He's going to be very interesting to watch. By all reports, a cracking little footballer, Phil, 21-year-old Giovanni for Argentina. Well, this is kind of interesting. You see Vladislav Bezborodov. And if you follow Russian football, it might actually sound familiar. A former player for Zenit St. Petersburg and wow. Dinamo and the like, and now the 44-year-old is a referee. Good. That's a rarity, really. It truly is. Not many ex-footballers go on to continue their quest in the beautiful game by being in the middle as a referee. Ended his playing career in 2002, became a FIFA ref yeah. in 2009. All players think it's so easy. They're all so critical of referees. I used to have my players referee the 11 SA games, and they hated it. <laughs> they hated it because the abuse was so bad. Here's Nigeria. Balagong and Ekong among them. Mikkel will be running the middle. Ihinacho and uh -huh. Iwobi, the next generation. And boy, have they responded for Gerald Rohr. Good players, Ihinacho, 21-year-old Leicester. And a 21-year-old player, Alex Iwobi. One of your Arsenal lads, Phil. Nigeria with its third straight World Cup. The other four African representatives to Russia 2018, all ending long droughts, including Egypt going all the way back to Italian 90. Welcome back. And for the Super Eagles, well, in some ways, it could be a welcome back for them as well. One of the first to burst onto the scene 
but they have stumbled in recent qualifiers and recent World Cups although they did make it to the knockout stage in Brazil 2000 and 14 Argentina in their Albi Celeste with the dark shorts the all green of the Super Eagles attacking from right to left Argentina played well against Russia I thought it was a good game Messi of course the inspiration everything centered around him and through him and he has always he produced scintillating performance and left it late to beat the host nation but it's a beautifully engineered goal and it'll be interesting to see who pulls the real strings here in this game here tonight I've been playing with a little bit more of a relaxed look about them Phil since the qualifier was put behind them and they booked their place I left it awfully late very very fine but right now I look as if they're starting to get a bit back together and George Sampoli has said in these next few games coming up he's going to be able to be a lot more adventurous with his lineup and seeing different recipes that's a great comment I mean much of the world has been focused in on Italy's failure joining the United States and Sao Paulo's hold Chile on the sidelines Jeez. Bruce Arena had mentioned the fact from a US perspective just gets to the World Cup and then we can tinker well Jorge Sao Paulo does get to the World Cup and now he is tinkering this is almost a Bielsa like 3-3-3-1 three, 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 yep now of course when Messi pops into the equation anything is fair game but Sergio Aguero leading the flanks and as you mentioned Ray Paulo Dybala the man of the hour nice build up here ah offside the call on this near side run from Christian Pavon who is in the Messi role yep good You're player not been playing very well for Boca Juniors Pavon another youngster being fed in by George Sampoli got to learn how to hold his line there looking at the ball just getting caught out and again former competitors on the field Di Maria I'm sure with a little bit of a smile in the tunnel when he saw Vladislav Bezborodov ball flicked on by Ngidi Mascherano in there quick he's been playing some really good football lately as well just for his national team for Barcelona as well since he's slipped in Ooh. almost up the middle but stripped and now turning up field the other way Balogun well, for Argentina in many ways this is a test against themselves for the Nigerians regardless of all of the problems that Argentina had in qualifying they have to be considered among the favorites once the World Cup tournament gets underway proper and so for Nigeria a very good yardstick match today over to the far side and kept in by Awasiem down the line keep an eye in the middle Shehu forgetting something along the way yeah, it's a bad touch Shehu gets the ball in good position he's got Otamendi backing up but now well, it was a step before that replay but Shehu just let the ball get away from him with that bad touch that I was talking about. Not a bendy. Gets the cleats. Oh, the African teams have all got big, big rivalries, of course, but this is a rivalry in itself. It's historical past Argentina against Nigeria, throwing up some good big games in the past. World Cup 94 pops to mind. Yeah. <clears throat> Mascherano drops it in nicely. Pavon on the run gets to it inside the box, flips it back with the outside of his right. Aguero through Dybala. And you see Dybala showing he wants the ball, wants the chance. The return pass, second effort from Aguero. Dybala cuts, shoots, and it's blocked safely into the waiting arms of the keeper Close. good challenge by Balagoon comes across here and just gets enough of it Leon Balagoon two good challenges but I think it was the mains man that came up and just put the cork in the bottle 
right at the right time. Nice build up again from Argentina. Tricky play as always from the wonderful twinkle toes, Dybala. As you said, Phil, testing themselves here and can it be overstated without Messi. There's not just a player that comes out, but there's a dimension that takes the horizontal and vertical and just adds a third dimension to it that any team in the world would miss. And not just the inspiration, but of course the engineer in charge and how this team is going to have to adapt over the years. And Leo has changed his manner and the way he plays as well. And not the out and out forward anymore. So how do you adapt for that? How do you compensate for it? There is none. But sell a lot of responsibility in this three-man back line. Argentina retreating, pushed back for Iwobi. The Arsenal man dispossessed. The question about Otamendi, normally used to playing on the right side. Mascherano playing on the left when he plays with Piquet, but their roles reversed here today. Quickly forward for Lo Celso. Aguero out wide, keeps his balance and keeps possession. Looked to be a trip up, but the referee, Mezborodov, says no. A good block tackle right on him, and he's seen plenty of them in his day, this referee. Here's the one who just skedaddles away, but it's well won back. Looked like it could have been a trip, but Bezborodov sees otherwise. Flipped into the middle. Plucked away by Enzo Perez. The way this lineup is shaped, Pizzella almost a sweeper with Mascherano and Otamendi as the marking backs. Perez the ball winner in the midfield with Benega and Lo Celso, the maestros, Pavon and Di Maria, in many ways the ones that have the most work to do, as they will be wing backs and wings in the attack with Dybala and Aguero, the spine of the attack. We've seen Di Maria play in that position. To some success, yep. Pavon has that responsibility here today, but that again comes into the question, especially in this formation, Ray. Ball tucked through, <laughs> looking for the run of Dybala. When Messi returns, is there room for Paolo? Perez inverting the pyramid a bit and stepping up to win it. Shadano sneaks it around John Obi Mikel. It's been good, some, some real good touches early on in the early parts of this game from the Rosario Central lad Los Celso looking for the ball very responsible wanting it no hiding away oh he gets a bad bounce there but he's seen it picked up Nigeria also not the old 4-4-2 you might remember Going with five in the back, but as we've seen, Sheku on the right, Aina on the left, like to push forward. The one difference with Nigeria is the dynamic duo up front of Ihianacho and Iwobi. The Manchester City lad and the Arsenal youngster, both proving they are ready for their close-ups. Back to Petzela. All about that competitive nature between these two teams. It's not just in the senior teams as well. Remember the great clashes that are ahead in the Olympics. Otamendi on a rare foray upfield. The youth levels, of course, Nigeria, an absolute talent factory in Africa. It's been going through some tough times with a recession in the country. A wide, early touch in from Pavon, but it sails That's over everyone. affected the whole federation in many ways, so some readdressing from Daniel's men. But the country's still able to produce some wonderful players and always a high-class entertaining team to watch. Ball played back. Trust Ekong. 
Over to Balogun. Was Nigeria missing out on the African Cup of Nations after they had won it the last time out, Phil? Mikel. And again, one of the surprises, I, I think if you were going to look at some of the powerhouses, like a Ghana, like an Ivory Coast, yeah. like even perhaps a Cameroon, who seemed Ooh. to be showing what a resurgence. Tackle. That's brilliant from Mascherano, but he's been bundled off it here fairly. It will be to the center, tangled up and dispossessed. And Mascherano wins two tackles beautifully, but as you say, Alex Awobi, your Arsenal boy, comes through and absolutely outmuscles Mascherano. And if I was a 21-year-old, I'd stick that on my bedroom <laughs> wall every night. I'll play it. Again, it seemed getting Have back you to seen your much of him, Phil, with Awobi for the Arsenal? Not enough. And I mean, I have seen him. Right. It would be great to see more of him. Mm -hmm. And I think we will over the next few years. Certainly looks the part. All played back. Balogun slides over. Former teammate of Steve Cherundolo at Hanover earlier in his career. Back now to the Mines man. Finishing the thought about Nigeria, I think they would have had to have been one of the nations that you would think might have missed out on Russia 2018 but this new generation and credit to the old man in charge Gernot Rohr realizing that the youngsters were ready well certainly getting the big bow here today against the World Cup finalists Argentina was so unlucky in that final against Germany in Brazil well, will this finally be a hurdle that they can cross? No, it's the missing the big players as well, Phil, in that game. Good control, but off balance on the shot from Pabon. But they still had enough and come through and could have, should have won a situation of beaten Argent, of beaten, was it, beaten Germany. Of course, no Higuain here today, no Icardi. That's wonderful check there from him and he just misses his strike this was earlier in the game Angel Di Maria see the starters coming out of Icardi's feet there to set that chance up and he was square for a knock in in ooh, ooh and a collision that sees Balogun go down ah uh, he'll be fine comes in against all that Enya and a little bit of a shoulder into the face. Yeah, just a little pop. Seems like he's grabbing his jaw and the side of his face a bit. Awaziam. Looking on a bit concerned. Ola Aina. Can't expect him to slow down. That's just an unfortunate clash. And he'll feel it a little bit. But he'll be fine. Good look at Roar. 64 years of age. He's been around for a while in Africa. Started out 2010 as a national team coach with Gabon before moving to Niger, Burkina Faso, and for the last two years with Nigeria. Got his start as a Bayern Munich player way back in the day. He didn't play much for the FC Hollywood. Slid over to France, which is where he made his name yeah. with Bordeaux. Yeah. Over 350 games in the wine country and went on to manage them in his first managerial setup. Ball just behind Pavon, who was expecting the through ball. Aguero tries to win it back but can't. Messi, of course, just took off immediately after the game, basically, hopped on his first flight home. Good way to get back to the wife and kids. And just as a precaution for some police saying just just been resting him. That's all. He's done enough and seen enough of him against Russia. 
And a little bit of argy-bargy here. This referee's a good manager. You can tell he's played. He sees this coming on, and it's a little bit of handbags, nothing too bad. And referee saw it straight away and didn't seem to be too much in it at all. Let's take another look. Uh, arm comes up and onto Otamendi. And uh, that's a lot more serious than what I had thought. And Otamendi knows it as well. And for a friendly game, saying that it shouldn't be leaving the bottle edges there, but there's the smell and saying, come on. And that wasn't a bit nasty, huh? For a friendly. And again, might not seem like much even with the elbow out, but the point of the elbow catches the cheekbone just right. Sure. Well, in the earlier one, when Balagun got that nasty knock on these teammates shoulder you can tell straight away there wasn't much in that but that action of the elbow coming through that is a lot more cynical Enzo getting some words from Mascherano I lost my train of thought there for some reason Ah, oh, she recognizes his. At least they found a use for the messy cam. Nagachiche behind, whispering into some Pauli's ears. This would be a bit of a concern to say the least. There have been some concerns about Otamendi in recent years. Promising career seems to have been derailed just a bit. I don't know if there's any excuses for Inacho here. Especially, I, you know, the situation is that when it's a a clash, but when the action, you know, we see players jumping for a free ball and they'll catch an elbow, and that's all part of the game. But this one seems to be a little bit more premeditated, and Otamendi knows it. And it's a good yellow card. The referee identifying it, and Nacho pleading his innocence, but guilty of sin. Spanked over to this near side, Mascherano, for roaring. And his midfield to slide over. This game's taking on a little bit more of a uh, broken bottle edge in the early going of this game. I didn't expect this. Oh no. Yanti gets raised. A little bit of vinegar in the game now. I like it. Beautiful switch. Cheapest ticket to get in here today, about $10, although many have spent nearly 200 to get a ticket to watch. See, some of the expensive seats might still be vacant, but a lot of the fans bundled up. Temperature just above 50. Community up there as well for the World Cup should be just a bit warmer. Di Maria tripped up. Actually, Otamendi again. This time colliding with Njiji. I've lost the lads leaving it in. A lot of the talk from Nigeria leading up to this match is. Yeah, it's Argentina, but we're not impressed by the pedigree and maybe some of this physical nature. They're trying to prove that here in the early going. 20 minutes in, step over from Di Maria, whipped in towards the six. Cleared away by Ekong. Good run. Nicely. The goal line lifted into the oh. middle. Launched high into the air by Ogu. Still loose, but a foul as they try to win it back against Argentina. Christian Pavon a little bit too flat-footed here on that back post. 
Well, this was the earlier challenge, but I thought he could have attacked the earlier ball. Pavon. And early days for this team coming together now in a relaxed atmosphere now, Argentina. There's still several more friendly games to be played before the big kickoff in Russia. San Pauli the engineer and reconstruct. All right, what is it really that he learned? And again, remember the fact he did not step in at the start of qualifying as Argentina's manager. In fact, he wasn't even the second choice. Ball. Around the corner, tucked oh. into the middle, keeping it alive, Aguero, but Nigeria gets it out of danger. Good work, Di Maria. Balagón, again, the mains man shepherding him. Wonderful covering from Leon Balagón. Tracking down Kun Aguero, knowing where the sensing, the danger is going to come from a lovely pass from Di Maria. Just good defending that time. Jorge Sampaoli, actually the third manager through qualifying. Yeah. Had to jump difficult. into the horse when it was already midstream. Now he gets a chance to tinker. What is he going to try and do? How can he make Argentina better? Well, that's a big, big question, Phil. And we're going to see how they're going to redevelop. Ooh, bad giveaway. And a chance here at the edge. Back heel looking for Iwobi, but no. Enzo Perez. You know, to get uh, picked up there by Dybala. Very close, to worming his way through. One or two little rough touches. Mekong running out of real estate. Carries over, and it'll be a throw-in for Argentina deep. Banega. Whoa. Dangerous. It's a great ball! Tucked across Magic! the six. Just behind Di Maria, and Aguero couldn't react either. And now both of them are down injured inside the six. Wow. What Beautiful football engineered here by the Albi Celeste. Again, magnificent vision. Over the distance, Benega. The Sevilla man, absolutely wonderful. That's Messi esque with his vision and his pass. And desperate defending in the end by Nigeria. Uh, collision again doesn't look as if it's so serious, but Aguero Maria, looks as if he's all right. Yeah, Di Maria looks as if it's a little bit more of a concern in the joint area, and that's never a good sign. Di Maria had to try and stop. Took a look at this back brilliant this. ball, picks the dandruff off a of wasp's wing with that ball. Brilliant, Benega. The cut back is there, and then the follow through from Di Maria is a half a boot length away. It looks as if he'll be okay as the go through, and I don't see too much. Unintentionally, Ekong seemed to step on him as the ball had gone away. Sampaoli, who's already seen Otamendi down, now sees Di Maria and Aguero down. The one thing you don't want in these friendlies are injuries. A good game. Did it a good tempo. And Nigeria having to work the socks off defensively, but that will not be too bad for Gernot Raw because seeing his team up against this Aladdin's cave of talent, Phil, they're not going to get many greater tests in terms of the attacking prowess or what they got at the other end. So close to grabbing that lead, Argentina there. Oh, dangerous. Nice. Di Maria obviously okay, almost stole it away. Interesting selection for Gernot Rose, Nigeria, in goal. Akpei, a 31 year old. Was home, we'd see Francis Ozoho, who was the Deportivo La Coruña sensation, the youngest ever goalkeeper to play in La Liga. Okay, okay. 
Williams all available on the bench here today along with the 29 year old Ikachuku Azenwa who is domestic based. Yeah. You kind of figure though the battle might be between Akpeye and Carl Ikeme the Wolves keeper who is not called up although had been the regular for much of qualifying. He's always able to hit that type of pass ever Benega style and his passing over that distance when we've been doing the Barcelona games Phil he's so very very apt at picking out the early run oh that's outside that's a yep and that oh. does look like it what and a brain freeze quickly restarted oh. but you heard the whistle in the background now Argentina might have a question here as to whether the whistle should have blown they also have a legitimate complaint that this could be a red card. Well, well outside. That's just <laughs> crazy. And all of a sudden, Carl Ikeme looks like a pretty good choice. But Daniel Ekpe, I think his point was the fact that it should have been retaken, but I think this is just a brain cramp. Now, if this was a competitive match, I think there might have been a red card, but in all honesty, both managers don't really want to go 11 on 10. <laughs> well, my experience, I played with the goalkeeper. It did exactly the same thing. It's Seattle against the Sounders, and the Sounders put this one away. So, 18 yards and a hair. What an absolute amazing catastrophe Benega. for the keeper takes it tucks oh, he it, did it buries it <laughs> Avery Benega with well, the goal deja vu all over again for me after a catastrophic mistake by Daniel Akpeyi who literally fills his pants and picks the balls up and Blondie goes disco and we're all very grateful a wonderful wonderful strike ever again curls it round the goalkeeper commits another sin Daniel Akpeyi goes and leans one way and then goes completely the other leaving that side of his goal wide open the poor lad is there's the step to the side what he's doing there i don't know he set the wall up to the near post right and then cheats to the near post right so he's got to cover that left side and that's where ever ever present wonderful vision and seeing that change of weight from daniel says I've got him here what a strange goal the setup for it was even stranger I something that you see at the kids level huh I mean down at the Hollywood Wildcats that... you'd be making them run laps <laughs> yeah, really you wouldn't do that Good ball. Second effort tucks it Tackle. through, keeping it alive. Pabal raids it. Curls into the 18. Squared, and this time, Akpe holds on. Better hands that time, Bum Daniel. A cheap a United man. He's having a game to remember or forget. Argentina gets it right back now. Again, you might think that that's disaster, but as a manager, those are the things you'd like to see now rather than next summer and a real question it's not so much to put a scratch or an X next to Daniel Ekpe's name is to see how he reacts from that mistake everyone makes mistakes it's how you react that determines the champions <sighs> you're a kind man Phil you'll never be a coach that is absolutely unforgivable I mean, just tore poke the ball away. It's outside the box. It's over the lane. Come on. It's like he was acting as though it was a free kick. No, I want to take the free kick inside the box. Had a brain cramp. The lad who committed a sin for my team was a lad called Marine Kano. Lovely lad. Lived in Torrance, California. I love you, Marine, if you're watching or listening. But I we that's said that's why they call him Marine, because he's all at sea. <laughs> it was 
Well, an SOS set up by Nigeria right now. And credit to Argentina, Ray. They've kept the ball away from Mikel in the midfield and from Awobi and Higinacho yeah. up front. Well said, Mikel. Obi uh, Mikel not having a very impressive game at all, very quiet, but this Argentina team keeping it for fun. Well weighted by Otamendi. Feeds the run of Aguero, but saved by Akpe. A nice run. Run dictating the pass. Enzo takes off beautifully. And then no pullback, nothing much else on for him. And that's good goalkeeping from Daniel. Ekong and Balogun using their height. Ooh. Wide open and probably should have done better. Otamendi. It's a hard header. Difficult. Got a big angle to find here because he's attacking the ball in front of the near post. Look at this. That takes the neck of an owl to put it away. And good effort. Great ball. Wonderful service. And Otamendi does his best. Just cannot take enough off it and glance it down it's a good header Ndidi again charging down the left flank numbers Nicely. open back heel Magic. from Di Maria Aguero oh, what a at the top of the box denied second effort screaming for it near side is Pavon who won the tackle by Shehu blasted but off target and Nigeria off the hook Shehu Abdalia comes across here right in the nick of time. Plays his football in Cyprus. This wonderful challenge just doing enough after some lovely interplay from Argentina. Beautiful variety in their passing and then the hesitation to set another opportunity. Calibrating and then recalibrating. And San Paoli will love that. But as we see. Abdullahi trying to get his joint back in place. There's a brave reach in tackle by this young man. Right here. Of age. Just does enough to put off El Kun. Thinks he's going to be able to give this the red hot crack towards Akpehi's goal. And ay, sees it come and sees it go. Abdullahi taking the full weight of the shot from Aguero right Fun game. his calf. Fun game, man. Little bit of edge to it. Nigeria getting the rhythm drums going. Liking what they see. Disbelieving their bloodshot eyes at Daniel Akpe's performance earlier. But saw him get his groove back together. Well won there. Nice play. Mikel Ogu touches it away from Benega. The Tianjin ex Chelsea man wide. And the lucky inside. Iwobi keeps it alive. Carries away. It'll be Argentina throw. You heard the screaming from the defense, Shehu, and there. <laughs> He shouldn't laugh, but that is one for the books, and then it gets worse for him. Beautiful finish by Eva. That wealth of experience that he has. He's looking at the goalkeeper for that slight shift of his weight, but it was more than that, wasn't it? Making it easy for him to pick his spot. And Gigi, Leicester man out wide, touched down the line for Irinacho. Michel now getting involved. Better football. A new generation of the Super Eagles, not quite eaglets. They are ready to fly. Balagun touches it around. Aguero and wide. Waziem. 
see him every week on being sports with Nant. Poor pass straight to Benega. Ten minutes left to go in this opening half. Lone goal, Benega capitalizing on the miscue. Nice play, Mascherano again. Sneaks the left foot between. Squares! Ah! Aguero! Back on the. And Argentina by two. Stupendously magnificent, Albi Celeste! This is as good as it gets, Mascherano! Starts the dominoes falling, and Sam Pauli will be wearing his batteries out replaying this with his fancy schmancy machine because this is fancy football people direct this is the end result beautiful lead ball sees a square man begging running Aguero nails it on Pavon sets the table with beautiful silverware right foot spot you I see you pal put it away sliding tackles be damned could Aguero latches onto this but take a look at this at half time people this one goes all the way back this full footballing pitch is decorated with Argentina football. And he is as clean as Neutrogena on the man from Argentina, Aguero. Second goal of the year, second goal of the month. As he gets on the board for the first time since the Copa America Centenario. The importance of Mascherano's beautiful ball from the back cannot be overstated. We will see it again and we'll look at it under a microscope because it was a dagger ball that started everything falling. The pressure was applied by two split players in the green shirts, but Mascherano found it a window of opportunity. Three passes later, it's a golasso for me. Wonderful team football. Brave, deadly, accurate. And Ray, nothing against the likes of a Messi or Dybala, but how impressive has Pabon been? He has a job to do, which is to control this right flank and send the ball into the danger man. He's created three or four clear-cut opportunities in the opening 40 minutes. Yep, Messi's going to have to work hard to get his place back, Phil. I'm sure Sam Pauli thinks the exact same. Enzo Perez off to Dybala. And speaking of Dybala, relatively quiet in the opening half. Mm, I don't know. Maybe harmoniously involved. Perez knocks down. Seven left to go. Foul against Ogu. The Hapoel midfielder. Ball bangs off of Dybala. Straight to the path of Ocelso. Ogo giving chase and reaches in and plucks it away. Right at the center circle. Well, Ocelso started this game off well, but it's been a little bit more ragged as the game's gone on, surprisingly. Sad eyes now. Lots of the Nigerians have made the trek. Many live in Russia to begin with. So a chance to reconnect. Here's Mikhail. Plays it square. Ogu up the line. Back in for John Obi Mikhail. Now Nigeria have to feel a bit unfortunate. They were just starting to tie things together. And the lethal counter from Argentina doubled the lead. Good covering from Paulo Dybala there. And that's where it leads to. Bad giveaway here. Here they come again. Nicely. Dybala holds. And again. it across Perez. Nicely. Here's a chance for Di Maria. Oh. Cleared away by a Kong, but oh. up to the top. Dybala. Great support. <laughs> His pressing started it. Dybala, and then he started to link up nicely and still got the industry to get forward in full support. Uh, 
Gosh, Adano. Sweet. Again, Almost. lovely. Delicate touch. Dybala has as he's looking for the next pass. A wonderful vision. He'll settle for the corner. Gerhard Rohr has a few things he has to like, a few more he has to work on. Yeah. It's all been very horizontal type of play from Nigeria. Nothing too penetrative. You can see the opposite for Argentina. Hangs towards the spot. Cleared, looking for Dybala. Pazella, the number four, Fiorentino. Oh, he bundled off. No, we are wanting this one called. Seeing who's being held. Lovely visionary pass. I was talking about German Pazella, Phil. It's only his second cap for the Albi Celeste, but he's been playing very, very well, the ex River man. Now with Fiorentina. Yeah. Arch is seeing another one to keep an eye on. The Club America keeper just making his third appearance. You'd figure, Ray, the job is still Sergio Romero's, even though he's sure. not even a starting keeper and hasn't been for the last four years. Yeah. He's held on to the starting spot with Argentina. Maybe a little surprised Geronimo Rui was not called in for this. Still awaiting his first senior cap. Dybala. Over to Los Celso. Retreats. Manega. Perez, who's now pushed up field. Manega playing the deepest What a ball! Role. Dropped oh. over the back line, but Di Maria a little anxious. Well, we'll take a look. Let's see if it is off again. Magnificent attempt to find Angel over this sort of distance. Take a look. What do you think? Oh, Phil, I think he's on. Did seem to have that little half step backwards. Yeah. But did it happen in time? Ladislav Bezborodov, the former Zenit <laughs> striker, now turned referee, assisted by Valery Donchenko on this near side, who called the off. Ball back for Obu. Unlucky. Top of the arc, but and they will call the foul. Well, here. this was pretty football. Beautifully engineered this from Alex Iwobi again, the Arsenal man. His first touch, first pass was absolutely beautiful. The ball knaved into him, and then seeing the player behind him, look at this. Wonderful ball. There's the give, there's the go. And Mascherano has his hook out. And it's probably a smart thing to do. It was a lovely little ball. Nicely engineered again. John Obi Mikel was a part of it. Nice football. Nigeria's best passenger player. Now maybe a chance to cut into the lead just before the half. Hmm. Just seen looking on the drum beat from the stands. Mikel will leave it, lift it towards the corner, and it's off the fingertips and in. What a free kick. The goal to Iannaccio, his eighth in just 14 games. Kelechi Iannaccio, wonderful links eye vision here. And then a left foot strap of Arius that sends the Nigerians very weight disco. Take a look at Machasin. He sees there's the wonderful give and go and get that set up this free kick. Left foot, beautiful. Steers it in. He's got too much ground to make up, Augustine, on his lane. He's trying desperately to get there. Still think, Phil, he's got to be a little bit further over to the goalkeeper's right. And he would have got there. It's always easy to pick it apart. But you look at the lads in the Argentina wall and... 
seeing there's an awful lot of space for Ian Acho to hit, but he's still got to hit it. And he gets his angles down better than Pythagoras. Tremendous. 2 1. Well, on the free kick goal by Benega, we criticized Akpe for building a wall and cheating wall side. Yeah. But now with Marchesin, you can see why a goalkeeper might want to cheat. Because <laughs> as you point out, a half a step. Sure. And he stops it. Uh, tough break, but lovely goal from the Leicester City lad. Okay. Out foxed him. Eight goals in just 14 caps. And here he sets up what could be another drop back to uh, Abdullahi. Long shot towards that near post. Marchesin down in time. I have a little bit of sympathy on Marchesin as well. It's probably the first attempt, uh, maybe his first touch of the ball the entire game. Hasn't been very much involved at all, hasn't been tested, and half time. So we have reached the break. An entertaining first half. Argentina 2-1 to one over Nigeria. Good goals as well. The Benega strike. The, Agu the Cuneguero one. We're going to be looking at this, people. You talk about passing football. I'll be celestial. Ball flipped through. And just take a look at this. One touch to the middle. And Di Maria knows what to do. That one, Aguero, as well as he slides in for his 36th goal in his illustrious career. Argentina, 2-0 lead on this one. They would surrender one to Iannaccio on a brilliant free kick. There you saw the website address. Plenty more to come, including some World Cup tickets to be punched. And share your Twitter thoughts. Back with more. Pleasant conditions at Kuban Krasnodar's home stadium, but maybe just getting a little heated in the dressing room. Daniel Akpe paying the price for a momentary lapse of concentration, a gift for Argentina that they unwrapped early. Second half right around the corner. That'll do it for the Express. Argentina 2, Nigeria 1. Baba Black Sheep. Beautiful look. The stadium, actually a little smaller than it appears from the outside, but well protected. Holds about 35,000 quite comfortably. And here are the stats from the first half of play. Only two shots from Nigeria, so at least on paper, Ray, they can feel a bit fortunate only to be trailing by a goal. On the score sheet, it's a tight game, but the gulf of quality in between the two teams is... Pretty substantial, but you know, Raw will certainly have have had words with his goalkeeper and see how much they shuffle the deck. Sad when you see a goalkeeper suffering like that. This beautiful stadium filled with the graphics entirely around the stadium. Imagine the replays going on in there. Cinemascope. Little Argentina fan. And this will not be one of the stadiums for the World Cup. Mentioned probably could squeeze about 40 with a little extra. They do have a relatively small stadium in Kaliningrad, but many of them 60,000, 70,000. Luzhniki over 80,000. But oh, it is way. beautiful. It really is. Yeah. Kuban Krasnodar, the ex-Dinamo Krasnodar. And look at the field conditions. We saw a little bit of the grass kicking up, but looks pristine from here. Nigeria going over the finer points of the white lines, perhaps for their goalkeeper before they step out onto the pitch. Some substitutions already coming in. Looks and like why not? Two or three maybe for Nigeria ready to jump in. And it might have been Benedetto loosening up for Argentina. And it will be. Nadio Benedetto 
stepping on for his fourth appearance. Who's he playing for, Phil? Plays for Boca Juniors. <sighs> Fourth appearance for Dario. <laughs> Do it again, Dad. Uh, he's got his own. <laughs> oh, you got to love it. 2-1, Argentina. Second half about to get underway. And again, the change for Argentina. Looks like a straight swap, maybe not risking an injury to Sergio Aguero. Straight swap with Benedetto checking in, the 27-year-old from Boca Juniors. Meanwhile, he's taking a look. Looks like there might have been a couple of changes, and there is one at the bottom of the screen. Tyro Ebwehi, the 21-year-old from Ado Den Haag, with his second cap. Out wide it will be, strides, but dispossessed. Nice from Otamendi sliding over from that left spot. This is, again... Interesting with Jorge Sampaoli, who took a lot of criticism about some of the failures for Argentina. But he jumped in in the middle of qualifying. At most, he would end up getting the team with a couple of days before one of their qualifiers. Now he has had some time to tinker. And defensively, with three in the back, three behind the lone point man. A little Bielsa back in the mix for Argentina. Yeah, he's got some good options as well. Federico Fazio, Insua, and of course Mamana, the ex River lad, 21 year old, good promising player playing his football in Zenit St. Petersburg. That's a fine pass again. Nicely. So drops. Oh. So back in for the waiting hands of Akpe. Actually, no, they have made the switch, and it is Francis Azul. Yep. Zoho making his debut, the 19-year-old from Depor. Being very impressive as well in the practice working week, evidently, by all accounts, for Deportivo La Caruña. A wonderful historic goalkeeper as well. The youngest, as I said earlier, youngest ever in La Liga. And he was only 18, I believe, in so many days. Oh, congratulations to Francis, who takes the place of poor Daniel Akpe. And that cannot be a pleasant seat on the bench for Nigeria. <laughs> oh, okay. You'd kind of hope you'd get a chance to redeem yourself, and he'd uh, do okay afterwards, but that is a haunting misplay. Two. And now for... It was the sin, and then he sinned even more. Zoho, six foot five, Aye. coming out of the Aspire Academy in Qatar before moving to Depor. Yes. Well, they're facing Dybala. a lot of good fire here. So we'll see what, how he lives up to these expectations. Tough coming in at half time as well. Maybe he was told he'd be playing 45, but going to be facing some arrows here. Ogo sliding over, Mascherano launching it in, cleared away by Balogun. Out to midfield. Nickel knocked down, but no whistle, and knocked back to the big youngster, Uzoho. Nickel making his 82nd appearance. Yeah, he's a player that. So Alex Ferguson wanted desperately a Man United before Chelsea come in and pl plucked him away from right under the Knights' nose. And Obi Mikel playing in China now. Offside. Ooh. Nope. Flag stays down. Token effort to try and get it back from Iwobi. As Gerhard not roar. Rather quiet on the sideline.
A sloppy touch from Lo Celso. Straight to Yanacho, lays it off. Ibuehi, the substitute, can't keep it in. The 21 year old with Otamendi again stepping in. Another player that's been in resurgent form for Manchester City under Guardiola. He certainly had a profound effect on Otamendi's increased confidence. All the way to the back post, headed down but awry. Looked like Balogun soaring just over Ekong. And Gigi there as well at the back post. Getting in each other's way a bit. And it was Ekong. Burst of speed up the middle. Looked like the cleats might have caught Perez as he was down on the ground unintentionally. He is still down. Referee keeping an eye, and now he will blow the whistle to try and take care of the river man. As he was trying to get up, looked like he just got caught there. Nothing intentional about the run from Ogo, it appears, but Pettis okay. Sharp pass back, plucked away by Njiji, sneaks it forward for Iannaccio. The Leicester man towards Close. the spot, one touch buried. Ogu, just his second goal, but what a beautiful one. And no, it's Iwobi. Iwobi on the spot for his third goal after the setup from Iannaccio. We're tied at two. Kelechi, Iannaccio sets the table beautifully for Iwobi, who just has a... Wide open goal to hit. Nice leader play. Slack defending earlier, but that's a lovely finish. You see these put away really with that sort of coolness. That's a lovely steered in slot from Iwobi. Lovely little ball into him, but the way he keeps it down, the Arsenal man guns Argentina and Draws his, score, his team level with 2 2 as a nice goal. Argentina has got to be looked at severely there by Sam Pauli. Not in the initial pass into a Warby Phil, but the build up there was just a little bit too lackadaisical. The defending was too lackadaisical by Argentina and not quick enough. And now we've got to respond. Nigeria pulling this back. Well, both coaches, <clears throat> some things to like, some things to work on, and from fans, it's been absolutely brilliant. Memorable moments, both in the blunder category and the brilliance category. It's certainly something difficult for Argentina's George Sampoli to be concerned about and they have got a game in control how to maintain that lead and still have the variety in their forward play look at this found Leonardo a way through again leaves it and it's tucked onto the far side by the substitute oh what a goal Idowu has lifted Nigeria into the lead well, again, this is wonderful, considerate passing of the just top class, top draw. Beautiful play. And we look at it again. Argentina not able to contain this wonderful first time passing. Beautiful. That is as good as it gets. Syncopated football. Where was this in the first half? It was completely absent. But. This beautiful slide rule is just a thunder at the end of the lightning attack. One touch football is perfection. It doesn't get any better than that. And we saw three first time passes. Brian Adowu 
He's a player who was in Russia and he's came out and it's his first cap and virtually his first touch of the game, Phil. Born in Russia, yep. but elected to suit up for Nigeria, and I think he might have made the right choice. Well, he was very touched and honored, but what a dream start for Brian. As you said, born in Russia, and that's an amazing first statement playing for his country. Dynamo St. Petersburg, 25 year old, and this is his first call for the Eagles. Ball whipped into the middle, and the youngster. It's going to be old. his first touch of the game. But hey, Phil, what a beautifully engineered, crafted goal. Players running off the first pass, and then a dynamic action from the green shirts. That was as good as African football as you'll ever see. And the wonderful vibrancy of the attack just uncontainable that time and maybe the second goal that drew it level was in some ways you could say a little fortunate and you'd be a hard man to say that but not the third goal the third one is this magnificent goal mention the fact there are many expats in attendance here today from nigeria his parents one of them his father from Nigeria. His mother, half Russian, half Nigerian, grew up in St. Petersburg, but now with Amkar Perm and a super eagle at that. And credit as well to Gernot Rohr. We were saying, what does he need to do we're in the second again half? Here. He's done it. Oh. It will be upended. Running into Petzela. No whistle from the referee, though. That last attack, John Ogu was wide open. That's a good ball. Into the area, forced wide. Benedetto can't get the cross in. Oh, play which project there, Phil? Not just in that last attack, but that. Oh man, very very slack. And as good as they were in that first half. Certainly gives George Sampoli a lot to think about on the long flight back to Argentina. A plaudible goal, though, the third one for Nigeria. Giovanni Lo Celso and Ray, we were talking about this during the half. It's a good look for him. And Ten he started minutes out well. Good. Yep. And then he just seemed to put sure. it into neutral. And when he. he Warmed his feet nicely, confident and responsible, wanting the ball. But now, uh, then it started to come a little ragged as Ozoho has been the inspiration for Nigeria's comeback. And now can Papu Gomez oh, be the inspiration for that. Argentina? That's good flair. Out wide for Abwehi, who helped create the second goal to equalize. John Obi Mikel holding off the challenge oh, great of Abel ball. Benega into the path of Ihianacho. Ihianacho tries to lift it, but Mascherano's seen that before. A lovely stab through ball by John Obi Mikel, and here they come again. Three at the top of the 18. Oh. in back heel. Oh, what a stop by Marchesine, but it wouldn't have counted. Ihianacho just offside. Again, look at how narrow this team is and no protection from the flank players now for Argentina. Gernot Rohr changing his goalkeeper. Uzohu has been solid despite his young age. Lifted in into the path of Papu, cleared far side and, and blasted away. Roar also changed his two outside backs. Away he helped create the second. Ido scores the third. I think he could say Roar got the halftime adjustments well done right. Now it's up to Sampaoli in action. 
Sliding to the inside, Di Maria flipping it wide for Alejandro Gomez. Papu, the Atlanta icon. Sometimes known for the captain's armbands he wears for Atalanta, but also known for his goal celebrations. These friendly exhibition games always throw up so many good tests. Now Argentina's got one. It was so impressive in gaining this lead. And now they're up against the resurgent team, and they've got a lot to find. It will be after the tackle from Perez. Out for a Nigerian throw, and more substitutions about to check in. Thirty minutes left to go in this one. Out, Leon Balagon. Good work in the back alongside Ekong and the youngster Awaziem. Omaroa checking in for Nigeria. Twenty four years of age, plays in Turkey for Kasim Pasha. His thirty sixth cap for the late call up. Chelsea property, although as many, including John Obi Mikel, can attest to, he's been loaned out five times. That is over Mascherano. Argentina now chasing the game, Ray. Yeah, I'm not sure what went wrong here for Sampoli because they were just torn apart by Nigeria's, and it wasn't as if it was direct play. There's nothing too direct about it. It was lovely link up football that just pulled apart the Argentine press and the defenders and opened them up. Really. Sign of concern how he can hit the snooze button after looking pretty much watertight in the first half. Well, Dybala will be replaced by Fernando Belushi. And how would you rate Paolo Dybala's appearance on the day? It wasn't. It was first half again when they were really ticking along beautifully. He was at the heart of a lot that. Argentina had pulled over their bag of tricks. Oh, uh, some Pauli being a little kind and pulling him out, and certainly a high, high octane, high quality player, Dybala. It's see. the chemistry that's needed in this team, Phil, and. What was completely lacking in chemistry from this team in green has just come together in a wonderful concoction of lovely lead football. Pouring forward. Oh, well played. Nice tackle from Petzela. A little surprised Peluski gets the call. 34 years of age, just five caps. Nicely. Papu almost made it through. Oh. Di Maria as well. But the ball bouncing the Super Eagles way. Another chance in the center of the park for Gomez. Nigeria a little rattled after these last substitutions, but in front. Over in time, the goal scorer Idowu still in danger now, headed clear. The pace, and he's got help on the far side. You take Iwobi. him on here. Ianacho against Otamendi, ah. his old teammate, who's read that well. Yeah. And for Belushi. A 
Again to the San Lorenzo man. Acrobatic on the give and go. Then gets it to Benega. Papu sliding over towards the right side. Here's Pavon. Forced backwards, but of the relative newcomers, Pavon has been impressive. Melucci. Again, well, mention maybe a question for the 34 year old, but the ball seems to like him in his opening minutes. Perez. Better response for Argentina in terms of possession. Where's the penetration, though? And certainly lacking a little bit precision. Still in. Cleared by a Kong. Whipped in by Banega. Off the chest of a Kong. Mm. Iannaccio, and it's going to be a foot race. Mascherano scrambling to get over. Help in the middle for Iwobi. If he spots him, it's Iannaccio, but too much on the delivery. Back for Ngigi. Then the options there for the Super Eagles when they do take flight. Man, the pace of them is just stretching out Argentina and really causing all sorts of concerns. If this score stays, Ray, what will Ole be saying in the headlines tomorrow? Well, the first half was absolutely wonderful and admirable, but as the substitutes have come in, the chemistry seems to have gone a little bit away from Argentina. And full credit in Nigeria. I mean, they really put their Ferrari into gear. It's a good lead. Di Maria, left foot across the six, chested away by Omoruo, the substitute, just to be safe about it. And for these sorts of games as well, Phil, I mean, it's, it's understandable the result's always important, but this coach has got to take a look at these players knocking on the door. These are the environments that are invaluable for San Paoli. This isn't going to be his team once the World Cup starts. But he's got to take a look at these. And a lot more to be fed into that back lane of Argentina and the wide players to cover. Gomez from the corner. Mikel handling it oh. well, bouncing oh. in, trying to head it and deflect it towards goal, but Perez sends it wide. This one looks as if it's going to be goal bound. Bouncing ball comes into Enzo. Uh, pretty much a good clear header as this one comes bouncing into him. And it's just a poor header. It actually ends up coming off his shoulder. And from a fan's perspective, again, it has been an entertaining 90 minutes. I think Rohr has learned something very valuable about his team. And the spirit that maybe has been missing in recent World Cups. That fight back spirit, Bellucci far side. There's a lot of regulars that are not in the picture at the moment. I mentioned Omoroa, who was called back in, but Ekiagile lifted across for Di Maria back in time. Abuehi. Brownie Dea, success. Victor Moses not on this roster either. Yep. And a good look at the 19-year-old Uzohu, maybe filling the gloves of Enyama finally. Oh. Otamendi, but not close enough. And Iannaccio being directed towards the sideline. Nicely involved in the second half. And Iannaccio Ahmed had a good game. All of his 70 minutes showed up brightly. Nice spark. 
imaginative player as well, full of pace and deadly precision. Look at this free kick. One fox out, one fox in. The speedy Ahmed Musa. And again, as they may be bunker back and Argentina pushes forward, Musa may be a chance to use those wheels on a counter. Great experience as well, Ahmed Musa. Long time international. Still one sub left for Nigeria. Sampaoli still with half of the Jokers in his deck. For Argentina, still needing to formalize some of their pre-World Cup friendlies. A little bump from Musa, but it makes its way across to Mascherano. Of course, some teams will be playing in January. The next true FIFA date is set for March, and there will be that series of friendlies just prior to Russia. But in some ways, Nigeria, with the benefit of the African Cup of Nations qualifying, maybe not quite the same competition as they faced this week, but they'll be back in action against the Seychelles in March. Final quarter hour approaches. You could say it's just a friendly, but you see the frustration on Benega's face. That's not just ever Benega and the pattern of play that he's starting to miss out on here. And a lovely lead ball from him that'll hold up. Again, Di Maria tucking it back, but Papa would overrun it. You were talking about Dybala there earlier as well, Phil, on no how foul. much he's going to be able to come to the fore for Argentina as decent as he played you know, look at a player like a, well there's nobody like him like Messi in terms of inspiring his team but in Dybala you know we've seen it before so many times in his young career he has the capability to be that inspiration but Lucci. we want to see it a lot more Good in ball. games like this even though this is an exhibition friendly attitude was it quite there today from Dybala? There's flashes of it. Look good on the dribble. Yeah, it's always that, you know, but... Now he's out, and it's a chance for Papu to lay claim. Just his fourth cap for the 29-year-old, and he realizes it's Russia or bust. He won't have another chance. Mikel right in front of the referee, and a free kick for Nigeria. And another player that's come alive in the second half is Obi Mikel. Again to Musa. Threads it forward for Iwobi. Gets through! <laughs> Mascherano like he wasn't even there! A training exercise for Nigeria. Two straight for Iwobi and Nigeria by two. Iwobi beautiful with his hammer blow here and puts Mascherano down on his back again. They are absolutely shadows in the Argentina defense, and this is an easy pick. It will be a beautiful setup originally, lovely ball. The control is magnificent, but poor defending again. Mascherano jumping in, trying to find something. I think that's a nutmeg to Warby slips through with a tunnel of Mascherano and a lovely dispatch, Said Netten. Tremendous lead ball as well to find Alex. Disaster for Argentina after showing up so well against Russia and against Nigeria in the first half. It is just unspooled. The whole game plan and the individuals collectively they're not looking complimentary whatsoever and full credit to Musa's men because the quality of these goals Phil there's nothing capricious about them nothing lucky nothing accidental they've been wonderfully engineered goals from Nigeria 
I think really in all honesty you can point to all six goals and say the same some of them might have been set up with a gift but they were elegantly wrapped by the goal scorers Benega's free kick after the blunder from Akpe Pabon to Aguero with a brilliant finish and Ray I think almost anyone watching as we see a couple more Argentine subs loosening up anyone in the world watching that saw that second goal go in and see Argentina by two are thinking this one's over yeah they're in full control sure 76th minute Rigoni one of the players about ready to check in Perez in for Papu lifted across Bellucci but again at six foot five the teenager Uzohu towering over the opposition <laughs> and there as you see at the bottom of the screen it's Perotti so two more midfielders into the fray Roar applauding his team thumbs up from Njiji Di Maria is done and Emi Rigoni checks in I would imagine Benega might be the other or perhaps Enzo Perez nope it will be out wide Christian Pabon on the roll my lad Parotti certainly got plenty of fizz in his game to try to inspire Argentina back in but it's not the individual type of sizzle that some Pauli will be looking for better integration and see if this defense can hold up against this rampant counter-attacking football of Nigeria nice work by Perotti but staying with him all the time Tyrone Abwehi the 21 year old defender from Ado has been impressive since coming on in the second half but faked out here by Alejandro Gomez the cross leaves a bit to be desired Melucci tracks it down Perotti. same passes they tried with Dybala again tries a little shake and bake to try and get through but can't Nigeria up for the challenges some Pauli continues his familiar pacing on the sideline and from an Argentina perspective Ray again better now than next summer well the truth of it is Phil in the South American World Cup qualifying quest we saw too much of this and the game against Russia in that first half you think now they're starting to relax they're starting to lean on each other starting to believe in the pattern of play that some Pauli's put into place but again we saw it in the World Cup qualifiers how this can be a Jekyll and Hyde team not just on the road but in Buenos Aires look out out wide for Iwobi one of the heroes of the day doubling his international goal haul in the second half I'll play it again John Obi Mikel Mashidano but reading it well Idowu the St. Petersburg St. Petersburg born Nigerian Again, this is like a brand new Nigeria from what we saw in the opening half <laughs> Abwehi delicate as he crosses right into the midsection of Otamendi one more attacker if they wish and that's Edu Salvio but they're going to go to the flanks and bring in Insua so I think this might be a switch back more to four in the back but Sella will exit and Insua will check in it looks like a substitution maybe getting set for Nigeria as well Don't Obi all the way to the back post and Nzigi 
almost nets a fifth. Yeah, Wilfred rises, a lovely stab header. The Leicester City man again rises above his own teammate and is perhaps put off a little bit by it. But a good attempt again. Free header. And Sua making his return has not played for Argentina since 2011. And the 28-year-old was a phenom coming up. Many thought he was going to be the left back of the future. Second effort to bring down Papu Gomez succeeds. Hard to dance without your feet. One of the questions that's going to be kicked around by the Argentina fans, of course, is on these big dress rehearsals, did they find anybody that could really compliment Leo Messi on that inside? And? Dybala, Eva Benega, well, or Celso. Ah, Benega looks as if he brings a lot more to the dance field, but... It's hard to leave out the bala. There's Benega and handed his ticket right to the teenager. The concern that has always been expressed with Dybala and Messi is the fact that they end up occupying the same space at this point of their career. And Dybala did end up playing in that withdrawn playmaker position. Yeah. I think Christian Pavon has worked his way into the conversation as a role player. And I agree with you. As far as a starting 11 impact player, I'm not sure we've seen one. At least not yet. Although, would you say Aguero has forced his way back into the picture? It's always debatable. He's seen his impact in the first half, not just on his goal scoring prowess, but the danger Aguero brings. I think he's going to be the point man at Higuain again. Another player who's been out of favor lately and still lighting it up in Italy with Juve. A lot of problems, a lot of questions to be answered. Not bad from Perotti, but Ekong was there. Defensively, Phil, this Argentina side as well. It's going to be looked at on how he's going to set it up to get the best out of a defense. It's certainly going to be star-studded and heavy with talent Perotti. going forward, but... The actual defense of the team in transition, as I say, I think we saw the far better benefit against Russia and in the first half against this team. But it it's just gone dissolved away now. Well, the fact that he's brought in Insua late and gone back to four in the back. Yeah. Otamendi's gone right, Mascherano left. Ball Good ball. Lifted in. Just oh. a touch, but not enough from Benedetto. Beautiful ball served in to Dario. Rises beautifully. Would have liked to have seen that one go to the left side of big Francis Ozoho. Lovely lead. That's a tremendous header. Just underneath the bar. Well saved again. Not it away, what? Mikel, but in the box. And Belushi. Almost. much more comfortable doesn't he this young man in goal than Anya Lakpe did in the first half looks a lot more confident at a young age of 19 years well let's just say if he's not the goalkeeper in Russia if he's not by Qatar I think he won't be the only one surprised well played down in a heap, Mikel, whistle from Bezborodov. After wonderful skill, tight confines, three players around him, and that's wonderful skill and ability. Quickly from Musa gets around Perotti. Mascherano seems a bit more comfortable at the moment. 
Is it an experiment he will continue to work on? Sure, it is. That's what coaches do. They coach, they make changes, they look at different formulas, try to concoct that chemistry that's going to be able to lift them up one more rung in the ladder. But he's on easy questions for Sam Pauli in terms of the individuals at his disposal and concocting them all around Messi to get full benefit out of Leo. Big job. More World Cup qualifying coming up following this match. Nicely. Musa gets Good rid ball. of it quickly. Mikel measures, delivers, but knocked away. It'll be a corner. Seeing his apologies to Abehi. Lovely overlapping run. And John Obi Mikel apologizes for not feeding the overlapping runner. Senegal, South Africa on BN Sports and BN Sports in Espanol. Burkina Faso against Cape Verde on BN Sports Connect 4. Of course, those are qualifiers that have, in many ways, already been decided, but now maybe working ahead towards that next AFCON qualifying. One more ticket in Europe to be awarded. Offside, lazy from Nigeria that time. Ireland taking on Denmark this afternoon, and then even more with Australia and their second leg against Honduras. Peru, their second leg against New Zealand. Both of those matches will be right here on BN Sports. Wobi takes his leave after a wonderful goal. Mr. Wenger, are you looking? As this lad is a real player, wonderful build, beautiful balance, confidence, personality galore. 21 years old, he is going to be a joy to watch. And replaced by Larry, they call him. Hey! Olarnwaju Coyote. Mm -hmm. We have had the pleasure to watch. Yep, in La Liga, he's certainly been a bright, bright spark. Girona yeah. now making his fourth cap. And moments to remember for the Super Eagles fans in attendance here today. Heading to the 88th minute. A phenomenal second half. And not as though the first half was bad. Just Argentina took advantage. But in the second half, Nigeria took Argentina. Chirano across Otamendi. Again, Argentina trying to play their game, keep their rhythm. Awkwardly touched back by a Kong, but it slips through the attack. The center of the park and now over near side to Emmy and Sua Perotti sneaks it through, but good positioning from a Kong pressure continuing to build. Melucci low, and Kong gets lower. Mascherano steps up, Perez oh. hooked by Musa. A well reft. Sees Musa coming in and right in front of him. Wonderful spur on a telephone way. I run here. And Musa reaches in for something that's there one second and gone the next. Nothing vicious about it. Referee handles it well. 90th minute. Can Argentina force their way back into the score line to make it a bit more respectable. Ken Rizzol will keep a clean sheet here in the second half. Banega, just too much. What was it that Nigeria did differently? 
entirely different attitude that everything starts with that but i think they took full advantage of one or two lax movements along that argentina back lane phil when we look at it again you see the space is open up but nigeria's renewed confidence coming out of that locker room in that second half just was like electric switch went off in them and really they adjusted everything they look more coordinated at the back they've been defending well here as well a goalkeeper Joy. certainly had a lot of stability and the individual performance of iwobi was probably the brightest light of all so a combination it wasn't just one set of letdowns from argentina but certainly too many changes for any great assessment to go on there'll be no question that some poli will be disappointed with what he set up in that locker room at first half because it looked as if it was damage done and there was more to come turned out the wrong way Perotti to the six flicked on by a kong and out for the corner first minute of added time almost done well Nigeria will find themselves in pot four. That means the other three teams will be, at least according to the FIFA rankings, better. And even though they've been outplayed on the day, it's amazing what the addition of Lionel Messi can do. Argentina, despite their struggles, Ray, as Perotti takes it out of play, will find themselves in pot one as a seeded team. And we might see these two teams again next summer. Mm -hmm. Lessons will be learned and for So a combination it wasn't just one set of letdowns from Argentina, but certainly Too many changes for any great assessment to go on. There'll be no question that Some poli will be disappointed with what he set up in that locker room at first half because it looked as if it was damage done and there was more to come turned out the wrong way Perotti to the six flicked on by a kong and out for the corner first minute of added time almost done well nigeria will find themselves in pot four that means the other three teams will be at least according to the fifa rankings better and even though they've been outplayed on the day it's amazing what the addition of Lionel Messi can do. Argentina, despite their struggles, Ray, as Perotti takes it out of play, will find themselves in pot one as a seeded team. And we might see these two teams again next summer. Mm -hmm. Lessons will be learned and for Jeanot Raw, a Nigerian coach. Are really going to be very pleased with this. And especially, I don't know what happened in that locker room at halftime, Phil, but the response was instantaneous and immediate and impressive from the Greens. Here comes Argentina again, well weighted for Gomez, takes it to the goal line, touched away by a Kong, scrambling to get the corner in. Final seconds ticking away. You have to remember, there have been the three goals and 12 substitutions again Otamendi finding the ball but not the net Perotti Asherano sneaks through to the spot but Insua hadn't expected the deflection fans from the stands Trying to get the early whistle. Benega battling Ogu. Down he goes, and he will get the foul. Fair enough, Roar. somewhat of, of a journeyman as a coach but the final chapter for the 64 year old looks to be a doozy met on the volley Melushi sees it deflected away 
The goal scorer Idowu giving chase. Swept back in Rigoni. Falls for Insua. Lifted over for Perotti. Final seconds ticking away. The Roma man back to his left foot. Down in a heap. It looks like Otamendi as the ball cleared away, and that's going to do it. Argentina had a two goal lead, but Nigeria roars back with four of their own to claim the prize 4 2 in this friendly. Jernot roars back for sure. The Nigerian coach did a wonderful job. It didn't look as if everything was right in that first half. Very dodgy goalkeeping by Daniel Akpai, but that was put right when big Francis Ozoho came in and he got wonderful support and reaction. Argentina will come back, but in this game, it looked as if Argentina were going to rock and roll right from the outset, Phil. They looked very, very good. They were confident, and then this chance for Benega is put away beautifully after the goalkeeper, well, goes missing in action. And he was the one who set up after picking the ball up outside of his area. Astonishing from a 31-year-old, the Chipper United man had a one to forget. But Francis Ozoho would come in later and settle the ship. The Deportivo La Coruña goalkeeper was absolutely wonderful in the second half. So there was a lot of spirit crushers for this Nigerian team. This beautiful lead ball from Dybala sets through and Pavon puts it on a silver altar for Kun Aguero and he slots it home. Two nothing and it looked all too easy. Beautiful lead ball, lift up of his eyes and sees two options, the back post, the near post, and Cuneguero meets and greets the train at the station, punches his ticket home. This lovely curling strike from this wonderful player who was absolutely tremendous all throughout the first half. Ian Nacho in second half really inspired his team with this wonderfully placed free kick and steers it home. Machacin tries to get there, cannot. And then this one, lovely link up ball, lovely look away pass. And then the pullback is beautiful. And the slot home again, right on the money. Alex Iwobi, the Arsenal man. That's a tremendous finish. Lovely lead ball to settle it. But then that one, cool as a polar bear's backside. Mikel would start it, beautiful. One touch pass from Iheanacho again, sets the table up and wonderful dispatch. Again, one touch football. Give, go, get, keep on running and wonderful link up play this by Nigeria. The Super Eagles were never better than that. Wonderful team play and a lovely tuck away for Idowu. And then this one was the real cherry on the cake. Again, it's this bright gunner, Alex the Great, Iwobi. Wonderful finish. And Argentina's defense. Kids in the Blair Witch Project go missing. Three in a telephone box, and Iwobi don't care. He'll take his all on. Skedaddles past. Nutmegs, Mascherano. And then a diamond finish. Wonderful. And Mascherano exchanges the shirts in the locker room because he don't want to take that one off. Nigeria with a four-goal comeback and a shot across Argentina's bow. Francis Ozohu as well with his debut, impressive for Nigeria.